Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about Global Lab update for 16 July 2021 update. But be notice all info on this video is from Global Lab server. So this is info about future update for Black Desert Online that will apply on live server in future. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle and also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, as per Abyss mentioned on Heidel Ball 2021 event, they will announce grandiose residence at Thursday, 15 July 2021. Actually, this is scheduled for Global Lab Update. And as you can see, this is official website for Global Lab Update at 16 July 2021 update. Actually, they got delay for this Global Lab Update that previously scheduled at 15 July 2021 and has been postponed to become 16 July 2021 due internal issue on Black Desert Studio. And as they mentioned on this website for Global Lab Update at 16 July 2021 update, they will open Black Desert Global Lab server next Monday at 19 July 2021 to apply all update that release on this 16 July 2021 patch note. And when I record this video, I cannot access this Global Lab server right now because this is still 16 July 2021 and I can test this Global Lab server at 19 July 2021. But any info for this Global Lab update, they already release it at today update note so we can know more detail before we can try it. Okay, first update about Grandiose Residence. I think name from this Global Lab website, this is just translation from Global Lab server. As they mentioned before, this first mention will locate it between Hedel City and Eastern Border area. As you can see, this is Hedel City and this is Eastern Border. So this mansion will locate it around this area. And special for this mansion, you not only can decorate its inside but also its outside area. And there are mentioned exclusive furniture also has been added like lounge for various flower to create some garden, some decoration lightning to maintain beautiful appearance at night, and also some effect type object like firefly and etc. As you can see, this is some effect that they mentioned. And also this is firefly effect for this mansion environment and also for its exterior you can design it to become garden training field or become farmland and vegetable garden as you can see this is special exterior item that you can put on its exterior for this mansion actually this is empty space like fence for your garden on this mansion and you can get this furniture from NPC Florence gardener on Adarexia and there are so many type for this square natural grass I think this name will change when apply on live server and also this type represent for its size Actually, if you see this shape, this is more likely looks like this on this exterior of this mansion. As you can see, some square area that are the plant by flower. You can put this garden space for this exterior for this mansion. And I think you can change plant that planted on this area to become anything. But for example, on this picture, this is tulip flower. But be noticed for this mansion didn't have any interior point because they just want to focus to pure decoration and enjoyment. And also they will run various kind of contests in future. And to get this mansion, only some qualified adventure can use this feature. But I'm not sure what they mean about only some qualified adventure can get this mansion. But they will increase restriction so little more people can get this mansion. However, to get this mansion, you require 50 contribution point and pay some tax on Serendia every day. Actually, they already mentioned on this line to run this mansion, the Young Lion Manor. I think this name will change on live server because this is just translation from Korean language. You need to investing 50 contribution point and complete related quests. And also, you must pay certain amount of rental fee, approximately 5 million silver point every day from Heddle Storage Keeper. But you can get special certificate that periodically release from Imperial Auction. And with this certificate, you can use this mansion permanently without 50 contribution point to use it. I think to get this certificate from this imperial auction, we will need huge amount of silver. So if you want to interest to get this mansion permanently, just prepare huge amount of silver to purchase this item from imperial auction in future. And as you can see on screen, this is how it's look for this mansion while not decorated. This is still empty mansion from its exterior. And this is example for exterior for this mansion after being decorated. And also this mansion have second floor that you also can decorate this second 
information for its exterior and this is how it's look for its interior after being decorated i think any furniture from per shop you can use it for this mansion but there are some exclusive decoration item for this mansion only that you cannot put it on regular residence as you can see this is some furniture item for its exterior for this fountain there are three type of fountain that they just released right now and also for this mansion candler that you can get this blueprint from Oderexia city and also this fireplace you can get it from Crownes area and another furniture decoration that you can get it from specific npc and for more detail about any decoration from this mansion you can check on this video description i already put link for this translated website on this video description you can check it for more detail okay continue for this global lab update for class balancing there are no class balancing for this update they just fix some issue for ranger class and also so many fix and improvement for corsair class but after i read the tile for this change for corsair class i didn't find any nerf for this class right now mostly they just improve some skill for this corsair class to become more smoothly to be executed okay next about exchange pre to fala weapon and sub weapon from naru gear in future you will get this weapon instantly we don't need to open pre to fala box anymore and also for pre to fala awakening weapon that you obtain from awakening quest line you will instantly get this weapon we don't need to open this pre to fala awakening weapon box okay next still about seasonal content but special for attraction co-op dungeon in future they will add co-op weekly quest for this attraction dungeon exclusive for seasonal character you can get this quest from fugar and after you conquer this attraction co-op dungeon you will get special box that inside this box you will guarantee get this echo of reef any to follow enchantment material at fast of work plus 30 plus 20 and season brief tron but when open this box you have chance to get free until 3 to follow accessory and also have chance to get frozen type blackstone to enhance your to follow gear from tap to become pen with 100% enchantment chance and also some chance for weekly quest for attraction dungeon to become more easy than before but i think this chance we will get it in future when this attraction dungeon release at 21 july 2021 update and next about guild content in future if you open recruit group member window they will randomize to show 30 guild from this list and also they will add search function from this recruit guild member user interface to search any guild on your server and in future you can send guild invitation to any player without need to connect with same server it means you don't need to have same server to invite any player to join to your guild and also they will change basic guild contract to become 15 days but i think down payment and penalty still same okay next update about monster in future they will increase drop rate for capra stone and ancient spirit dust when defeating monster at olun valley grinding zone and also they will add glowing effect at afuaru body looks like this as you can see on this screen and also when killing monster from balenos area until media region excluding salt guard area they will increase minimum probability to gain knowledge to become increased 10% more okay next update for user interface in future you can move any item that not stuck from your storage to your inventory at once and for the example you can see on this screen when they try to move this ancient relic from city storage to your character inventory and also this function they already add it if you have a head storage butler Sebastian for your family okay next if you watch my previous video for previous global lab update at, at July 2021 they, they just add search feature for inventory central market warehouse and per inventory when you search using this menu any item that not filter by this search menu will be more darker than before so you can find your target item more easy and also from previous week global lab update at, at july 2021 that they announced season mini server in this week global lab update they change its name to become oasis server and also to get privilege to go to this oasis server they will add special item name that name oasis key and for more detail about this oasis server mini server you can check on my previous video about global lab update at, at july 2021 and also there are some minor fix and change but i think all of this not too a big deal okay that's all global lab update for 16 july 2021 update and special thanks to all my membership for direct support via patreon karya karsa or youtube membership welcoming new membership ayrton as gold member and also my current member zekru dubia dut lee cham jimmy snack doki transester aganim scepter renegades x leaky cleaners aegis to guild from na server carlsen homie preligrium as gold member 
and also all my silver and bronze member. Thank you so much for all your direct support. This will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful and as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And we notice for some level, there are have some limit. So make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.